organization is going to unveil the Kobe Bryant statue. Um, in your mind, what are, what are like what's the iconic kind of Kobe image that first comes to your mind? Um, and I guess what, what do you think generally about him being kind of immortalized in that way? You know, alongside Magic, Shaq, yeah. Joe West. Um, I just I don't think he has one image that pops into my head to say that's the one that should be immortalized on the statue because there's too many memories, too many plays, too many moments that he had. Um, but I also think it's at the same time it's only right. I mean it's not spent, you know, two decades with organization, won multiple um, championships, uh, set uh, what's behind you, set a precedence of what it means to strive for excellence and, and uh, you know and you know a part of a, a fan base for, for quite a while and I think his accomplishment speaks alone. I think when his, his uh, you know, not only his inspiration, but he high inspires him in the off the floor as well, you know, in the community, you know, and just across the, the landscape of basketball. So I think it's a beautiful moment uh, for, for not only him, but for his family. Can you talk about Brandon Miller's game when it Eastern Conference for the month? Uh, what you've seen from him early in his career? I just think, uh, you know, the more and more time that he's on the floor, the better and better he's going to get at this thing. You know, the best best teacher in life is experience, and he's experiencing, you know, being on the floor and also being an hour focal point of the offense. So he's just learning. He continue to get better. The talent is obviously is there. Your, like, motto, as long as I can remember, is if you're healthy, you're going to make yourself available. And you've not, you know, been in the corner of the uh, low man. Is there a way, though, So, you know, not only myself, but Coach Ham and, and Mike and, and looking at the schedule and seeing ways where we can maybe grab a couple days in between games or if we have an opportunity to um, to, to gain some rest that are, you know, work benefits for not only for my body but for our team where I, you know, I do have a lot of energy or whatever the case may be out on the floor, I think we'll, we'll take a look at it. Um, so, you know, we'll see, we'll see how, how the schedule shapes out you know, over the next month. Going back to Kobe, is there, he'd be part of this organization, is there something you've learned about him? or his impact on this organization that you didn't know as an opponent or as a teammate even within the Olympics? No. You just kind of knew it all, that, or knew most of that at that point? No, no, you never know it all, but I learned more about him from being, from being here now. Is there one element in his game that, that you felt on court that was like the hardest thing to stop? Um, no, he, he had a game that was, uh, he didn't have any flaws, so. You know, every you just had to be on your toes throughout the course of however many minutes he was playing, which is probably gonna be 40 plus. And you cannot, you couldn't take a possession off because uh, yeah, he was relentless on the floor, you know, every single night. You guys have gotten up for some pretty big games this season, including these last couple against Boston and New York. What's the key to maintaining that focus against a team like Charlotte that, that maybe isn't in the same place in the standings? Um, because we don't. We don't have the luxury of being able to take a game off. Our record is not we're, not, we're not sitting here with Boston's record, you know, you know, where we can take a game off, you know, or, you know, take one to the head and be like, okay, we, we have to you know, continue to be, uh, play good basketball like we've been doing over the course of this trip, you know, and um, you know, hopefully close it out the right way.